So you're buying property in Santa Clara County. Welcome to the club. Today, you found a sweet little three bedroom that pencils out for you. Isn't it adorable? You're sold. She's gold. But what you're about to be told is important. Most everybody knows when you buy a house, there's going to be taxes involved. After all, everybody wants nice parks and streets and schools. It's why you live here and not here, right? But in California, property taxes are crazy confusing. Since Proposition 13 passed back in the dark ages of 1978, there have been 16 additional property tax measures voted in by your new neighbors. 16? It can be seriously confusing to figure out what you owe. But you owe it to yourself to know what you might owe before you take the plunge and get on the hook for the dough. Got it so far? Now the top dog, Assessor Larry Stone, was elected by the same dudes that passed all those property tax reforms. He and the rest of us in the assessor's office are all about real market value, assessed value, supplementals, and a slew of jargon you've probably never heard of as a first-time homeowner. We know what you need to know, and we're on your side, because in the real world, Larry Stone is the Property Tax Avenger. You just can't find a phone booth anymore. Since you have to pay the piper, or in this case, the tax collector when you buy the house, you're obligated to pay what's fair, but not a penny more. Larry has put together a righteous crew of fellow Avengers, certified appraisers with an Avenger attitude for making things right and fair. We're here to help you understand what you're buying into, what you're responsible for, and eliminate surprises. After all, we live here, and we pay property taxes too. Probably the biggest shocker to new homeowners in California is a little thing called the Supplemental Property Tax Assessment. Doesn't really have a nice ring to it, does it? Here's how it works. The tax year in California runs July 1 through June 30th. Don't ask why, it's just the law. Say you buy that dream home in September. The first year you own the place, you'll probably pay property taxes on the previous owner's assessed value from October through June the following year. That makes sense so far, right? I think we got a pretty sweet deal here. Not so fast. You're obligated to pay property taxes on the market value of the house when you bought it. It's the job of the Property Tax Avengers to make sure each homeowner pays taxes only on the market value and not the sale price. How do we do that? Sounds like a job for the... The Property Tax Avenger. Remember, the Property Tax Avengers work for you. The problem is, there's 20,000 or so of you new property owners piling into Santa Clara County every year. Make a number. And each property has to be assessed and an appraisal done by this crew right here. Fortunately, the Avengers are expert at this kind of gig and can bring some sweet tools to the party. First, we take your purchase price and use it to locate other homes similar to yours that were purchased around the same time. We make a few adjustments for size, condition, and location. That becomes your market value. So if your purchase price agrees with the market value, that number becomes your taxable assessed value. And that's protected by Proposition 13. If you're the type that wants more hands-on info, including the other properties we used in determining your taxable assessed value, all this is spelled out in detail at our website, sccassessor.org. Now let's go back to the date you bought your home. The assessor's office has to account for the difference between the prior owner's taxable assessed value and your home's market value. That becomes a job for... The Property Tax Avenger. Larry reviews the assessment, taking into account all of the 16 tax reform laws and using some impressive software tools even for this county. He comes up with an honest assessed value. If it's more than the assessment on the books from the prior owner, you get a supplemental tax bill that evens things out and everyone pays their fair share. So if you bought your place in September, and like a lot of people added your property tax and insurance into your house payment, you could be in for a nasty little surprise that even the property tax avenger can't save you from. The dreaded supplemental tax bill, which is often not covered as part of escrow or closing costs. Typically, it takes a few months to process these because even property tax avengers have to sleep sometime. They're appraising thousands of properties a year, and that means it's going to take some time to get around to yours. Hey, when are we going to know what we owe? We're on it. At sccassessor.org, we have all the info you'll need, including this sweet little tool called the Supplemental Tax Estimator. 
It's not a cool name, but it works. Prospective and new homeowners can get a good feel for what it's going to cost property tax-wise and about how much the additional supplemental tax bill will be, even before you commit your worldly goods to the deal. Just a few clicks will get you a realistic estimate of what you can expect in supplemental assessments. There's also a ton of info on other things you need to know when owning property in Santa Clara County, including a few ways to apply for reductions. So play around a little, learn, and eliminate surprises. Now, if you don't agree with the assessed value, it doesn't take superpowers to fix it. But you got to do some homework and show the assessor's office why you disagree and show them sales from comparable homes that have a lower market value. You prove it, we'll reduce it. But if you simply whine about the assessment and have no evidence, well, nothing's going to change. So before you buy, look for this guy to help you know what you may owe and why. Thanks, Property Tax Avenger. Just doing our job, ma'am. Remember, know what you owe. Visit sccassessor.org. And welcome to Santa Clara County. Thanks, Property Tax Avenger. <laughs> so corny. It is. It is. <laughs> so corny. <laughs> All right, so